The outcome of a legal fight over abortion medication could become the most consequential since the U.S. Supreme Court struck down Roe v. Wade. That was nine months ago. Yeah, Pro-choice rallies are rising up all around the country over the fate of the abortion pill Mifepristone. Now, one, in fact, is set to begin in downtown L.A. Let's go right to Rachel Menatoff. She joins us from the scene there. Rachel. Rick and Sandy, good evening. This group here is rallying in defense of abortion rights in the wake of a new decision from a Texas federal judge. He ruled to remove FDA approval of one of the abortion pills. And even though that ruling is currently on hold, many people out here are concerned that if it passes, it will have implications for states where abortion is legal, like here in California. As you mentioned, there were two conflicting rulings that came down within hours of one another on Friday. The first is the one I mentioned out of Texas. It was filed by pro-life activists, and a judge said the FDA's approval of one of the abortion pills should be stopped. The court halted its ruling for a week so that the FDA has time to appeal it. In a second case, a Washington state judge contradicted the Texas ruling and ordered the government to keep the drug available in 17 states plus Washington, D.C. Mayor Karen Bass tweeted today in response saying, quote, when the opinions of scientists and medical professionals are bypassed by judges, lives are put at risk. This ruling is yet another attack on the rights of women across this country. We also heard from the FDA today, which released a statement saying, in part, the FDA stands behind its determination that mifeprestone is safe and effective under its approved conditions of use for medical termination of early pregnancy and believes patients should have access to FDA approved medications. Vice President Kamala Harris also weighed in today. Take a listen to what she said. It is contrary to what makes for good public health policy to allow courts and politicians to tell the FDA what it should do. This is a drug that the FDA approved as safe 20 years ago and has been proven to be safe for 20 years. So this is a dangerous precedent. What's next? And these two conflicting rulings from Washington state and from Texas could escalate to the Supreme Court. And this could be one of the most complicated, contentious legal battles since Roe v. Wade was overturned last summer. We're live downtown. I'm Rachel Menatoff, KTLA 5 News. All right, Rachel, thank you so much for that.